Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, I'm sure as you guys uh, guessed by the title, today we're gonna be fitting panoramic glass to a build I've never showed you guys before. Now, uh, there's a reason I didn't show you the guys this build, and that's because it kind of flew together after work, after hours. This vehicle never really had any workshop time allocated to it. Um, I bought it as a standard van, and I'll chop in a quick picture of how this van looked when we first bought the vehicle. Uh, it was a good base vehicle. Um, and in, in quiet, behind the scenes, for quite a few months now, we've been adding bits and bobs to it after work and uh, here and there. But um, it looks absolutely sick. It's really cool. And it's actually based off of um, the green TD5, the neglected green TD5 that a lot of you love. Um, I kind of mimicked that two inch lift, but this one's got uh, caster corrected arms because we're running trepid doors. It's got spectre arches, this one. And we've added a few extra features to this one. Um, today's video though, we're gonna be adding the panoramic sides and a panoramic back door piece. Um, the only problem with this thing is it's a van and we come to a junction, side corners, blind spots. Um, it's not that it's dangerous, but it's not ideal. You know, if you're coming over a bit of a tight junction, you can't see any oncoming traffic or hazards. So uh, we've got a kit here supplied by VGS. Now VGS glazing is where we get all of our panoramic glass kits from. So the panoramic roofs, they do alpine glass, they do the sides, they do the back glasses. Um, this is where you can buy all the kit and uh, you can choose either for them to install it or for us to install it. Um, today, we're gonna be installing the, the side panel. So we've actually done it in this vehicle as well. Um, so many defenders here, it's absolutely mental. Um, I think as well on the channel, this one, this is a very early car of ours that's come back. This is the very first panoramic roof that we fitted to this gray one. Uh, it was white in the video, but we had it fully resprayed in Nardo gray and did loads of stupid stuff to it. Um, it's come back for some other bits and bobs. Um, this is what this one's gonna look like. So this customer had the same. Um, this one is a van, there's nothing wrong with the van panels and it looks cool as a van, but obviously um, a little bit problematic with such a large vehicle, you can't see anything. So this is exactly what we're gonna do into this vehicle. We're gonna have the VGS glazing, the panoramic glass, but obviously we've got to cut out the panel and it's gonna wrap around as well onto this back piece. Now this vehicle is also having the rear glass piece to suit. So um, it's a nice modern upgrade. It looks really cool and it adds to it. But I think you've got to have a nice color scheme to work. I think on a white car, it might look a little bit strange because it'd just be a big blob of glass. Uh, I think if you've got a black pack going on, you know, black roofs and black accents, I think it looks really, really great. Green, it looks really nice because it, uh, you know, it sort of uh, blends in. And the gray, it suits it because there's a whole black and gray thing going on. So uh, this is really cool. We, 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 we've done a bulkhead delete on this vehicle. Um, sorry, reduction. So we've just got a bit more seat room. You can see everything still wraps up because this car is fresh out of the box. But um, yeah, first step is gonna be basically removing the center brace supports in here, which you can see here. And this is just to give that panel some structural support. So we're gonna be removing the rivets, getting rid of that, marking it up on the outside. We're gonna remove the rear wheel, remove the ladder. And uh, it's, uh, do you know what? It was a bit scary the first time I, I got a, a jigsaw or a cutting blade and just started cutting holes in these cars. Quite enjoy it now it's quite fun so without further ado let's get going and we're going to start fitting this panoramic glass kit
Okay guys, so we're all marked up. The next step is obviously to just cut the holes out. So uh, we're gonna make a small uh, a drill in the corner, somewhere to start, and then we're gonna start cutting out with the jigsaw. So uh, without any more waffle, let's get cutting this vehicle up. Okay guys, so we've finished cutting all the holes and they came out absolutely perfect, they're really, really nice. And um, we've now added the, this is all in the kit by the way, we've now added the trim strip, which goes around it, and that basically just finishes off the edge, makes it look a little bit neater. And it looks like now, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between one that, you know, had the, had the holes pre-cut, or the ones that we've done. Now these panels are absolutely beautiful, just looking at these. And in the kit, it's a little bit, you've got to clean the glass, prime it, and we've got to prime the body as well, because obviously the panoramics, they come right to the edges. So we're gonna have this nice, beautiful piece of glass. Um, and no more blind spots, so that's really cool. Um, but yeah, literally we're gonna flip it over, clean the glass, prime the edges. Um, look at this. So this is what it's gonna look like. Oh, it's gonna look so cool. Really, really nice. So we'll clean this all up. Use the glue that's fitted. That's nice, nice little panel here. We've seen some of these, the copies, these are the original ones. We've seen some of them where they don't have this, you know, this sort of mottled effect here. So you can actually see the body behind. And we've seen people cut square holes. It just doesn't look good. This will line up perfectly to those holes. And uh, we'll bond this onto the body. It's gonna look mad. And it's, it's surprisingly quick. If you're mad enough to just get a jigsaw and go for it, then uh, you can achieve the same results at home. But um, really cool. So uh, yeah, we'll clean this glass. We'll prime it, prime the body, and we'll get this glass fitted to the vehicle.
back together. Still got the rear to do, yeah. but let's let that dry up, go for some food, then we can put the finishing strips down and uh, get it the sun do the rear, it. get it out in the sun, clean it, and then we're done on the panels. It's added a lot of light to the cabin, which is really nice. You can finally see the fruit before it's a bit of a bit dark, wasn't it? Now you can put the headliner up as well. Very cool. <laughs> Look at that. Good. Look at that. Just ridiculous. You know what that is? Years of training. Years of making mistakes. So guys, check this out. This is absolutely insane. This car's come so far and that pano installation has made it look totally different. It's just added like a, I always say it's about the glass conversions we do. It's really lifted the feel of the vehicle. Obviously we've, we've lost the blind spots and we've just given this vehicle, uh, it looks like it's worth more. It looks like it's higher value, worth more and uh, just a touch of luxury, a nice, nice, uh, nice bit of class added to it. It just looks like a really, really nice car. And this is one of these vehicles we've, we've sort of built it up and now we're totally finished with it. So we'll show you guys around the vehicle. But um, obviously we've added the panoramic glass. It just looks sick, really, really nice. Coming to the back, we've done a full carpet set. We've added the, uh, the headliners. And you can just see how much light this brings into the cabin again with the panoramics looking really, really fresh. We've also done the back, the back glass piece here. Obviously it's got a two inch lift. We've added a NAS step, new mud flaps. The ladder, the roof rack, re reverse camera, the wide Spectre style arches, which suit the treble doors perfectly, I think. Side steps, the interior is really smart on this one as well. We've added a full luxury carpet set, including all the carpet retainers, looking really neat and tidy. Momo Pro Stipo 350mm, this keeps it you know, in keeping with the heritage style and the uh, 
the uh, the classic themes to the vehicle, but giving you more knee room. High rise cubby. We've got the, uh, we're actually waiting for these, these covers. So we just put on these canvas covers, but these are quite cool for this vehicle, quite works. Nice double dim retainment system, a quick shifter. So this is nice and short shifting rather than feeling like you're uh, driving a, a stirring pot. Um, we've done the double bit, double din, of course. And then we come down, come around to the front. I'll pop the lights on. We've got a genuine style switch there. So everything looks genuine. We've got a slimline 40 inch or four by four uh, LED light bar. Really, really cool light bar actually. I'll leave a link in the description to all. Great company, great quality, good stuff. Radio's going. We've got the halos. The daytime running lights work on when the, when the engine's actually running itself. I'll quickly show you. We've added the Spectre style front bumper. We've added a six and a half ton winch on the front. Uh, the soft nudge bar. Um, it just looks insane. It's really cool. Obviously, checker plate as well. Looking really, really good. I love that light bar from, from Orr. It's really slim. It's not obtrusive. It looks, you know, it looks like it could be part of the vehicle. You wouldn't necessarily notice it. Um, Boss Black Pack. Really, really nice. It's just a nice car. Properly built. We've also added, just before we show you, the, uh, the under the, uh, the steering guard as well just finishes off this whole adventure look to it. And this has got all the, the proper caster corrected arms, crank radius arms, um, all that good stuff. Just so if it is actually used, we have no problem with it going off road. It's really, really cool. Just looks the part, doesn't it? Looks absolutely insane. The seats are smart as well. Really nice. We've got the winch port down there. Ooh. <laughs> Got the winch port down here, so you can switch off the, it's the isolator. And those seats are just gorgeous. They're, they're the Corbo uh, double RS low base, so you don't, um, you don't have to jump into the bucket sort of thing. Really neat and tidy. Just a great car, really fun build actually. And like I said, we didn't actually show you guys because we, we did bits and bobs to it. It was a van, then we did the two inch lift and the, uh, the wheels and tires overnight one night randomly. Then slowly we do the arches and bit by bit, it's all come together now into what you guys see here. The panoramics I've really, really liked. I was quite worried being the van, it would add, um, you know, it wouldn't look as utilitarian, but um, because I think it looks like one single pane, it still kept that van look to it, but you get all the benefit of the inside. No blind spots, it's, it's opened up the cabin space, just feels more spacious and inviting, which is very welcomed in a 90. Um, sick car. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, Drop a comment, let us know what you guys think. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, which is at Juice Motors. We'll see you guys for the next interesting episode. Don't forget to subscribe.